The moon. 50 years ago in 1969, humans set foot on its dusty surface. Back on Earth, millions watched their every step, imagining a day when they too could travel to space. 50 years later, that day is closer than ever before. a sublime feeling of human solidarity. Astronauts call it the overview effect. But in order to go beyond the realm of tourists, space explorers will have to wade through a treacherous ring of space junk. Even a fleck of paint traveling at orbital speeds can damage a spacecraft. And more junk means more collisions, which in turn create even more debris. When safely out of Earth's orbit, would-be adventurers will face another problem. To go faster and farther than in decades past, scientists say we need ways to fuel up in space. Prospectors already have their eyes on rich deposits of natural resources on the moon. Small crews could man outposts on the lunar surface and mine helium-3 that could potentially be turned into rocket fuel. Companies are focusing on asteroids. Autonomous spacecraft will evaluate asteroids for water content and precious metals. If resources are present, robots could extract the goods. Those resources will be essential to establishing human colonies in space further in the future. Some scientists suggest that we should live in free-floating colonies that mimic conditions on Earth, like gravity, atmosphere, and topography. But other experts and SpaceX founder Elon Musk believe that the red planet Mars is our best chance at a second home. Though it is much colder than Earth, the two planets share some similarities in geology and size. A day on Mars is just slightly more than 24 hours, and there's evidence liquid water once existed on its surface. As we look to the future, one thing is certain, we'll never find another home quite like Earth. But for the next generation of explorers, scientists, and engineers imagining life beyond our planet, the moon landing on July 20th, 1969 is proof that sometimes impossible dreams do come true.